let me bring to you what is the polarity of the magnet at z you know what i'm gonna ask let me know in the comments is it south or is it north which hand rule are we using let me know in the comments what your answer to this question is that is 9.2 let's take a look at 9.3 the resistance of the fan is 60 ohm and the maximum potential difference produced by the generator 311.11 volts calculate the cost of operating the fan for 1.5 hours if the cost of electricity is 3.33 per kilowatt hour right so before we answer the question if you want the entire memo to this question paper go to my website allpasspapers.com you'll find study material for paper two as well life sciences geography mathematics mathematical literacy and all the other subjects at allpasspapers.com so we want to calculate the cost we want to calculate the cost so the cost is equals to the energy multiplied by the kilowatt hour right the the actual cost of electricity per, per kilowatt hour the tariff as math lead people would say yeah so the cost is equals to the energy let me see multiplied by the price for each kilowatt hour right because i cannot have cost is equals to e multiplied by cost does it make sense okay so we have the price it is 3.33 per kilowatt hour what we need is the energy what we need is the energy right so let me show you how we're going to do that so first and foremost we're going to calculate the power right after we calculate the power we're going to calculate the work right uh, of which the work is in joules that is our energy therefore so how do we calculate the power what do we have we have the resistance uh, which is 60 ohm we are given the maximum potential difference produced which is 311.11 so we can find v rms to be equals to v max divided by square root of 2 that is going to be 311.11 divided by square root of 2 let me put that in my calculator 311.11 divided by square root of 2 that is 219.9880 okay that is my vrms in volts okay carrying on we have the vrms we have the resistance let's find the power power is v squared divided by r vrms that is so the power will be equals to 219.988 squared over the resistance which is 60 ohm okay so let me put that in my calculator i'm getting 806 so this is 806.57 uh, power the SI unit is what so now we're seeing the power is equals to the work divided by the time we want to find the work so the power multiplied by delta t that is going to be our energy right so the power multiplied by the time the power is 806.5786 right and then the time uh, it is operated for 1.5 hours so take a look at this when we multiply these two things uh we know that the work is in the power is in watt right we're gonna have watt multiplied by hour we're gonna have mod watt multiplied by hour but then the si unit of our price is kilowatt hour so we can just go ahead and divide the power by 1000 so that it can be in kilowatt so that our answer for the work or the not the work but the work or the energy dissipated uh therefore would be in kilowatt hour so let me do that actually so divided by 1000 
multiplied by 1.5 so this answer is 1.2099 kilowatt hour so the SA unit here is going to be kilowatt hour all right so after we deduce that then the cost is going to be equals to 1.2099 multiplied by the kilowatt hour 3.33 and when i put that in my calculator i'm getting uh in rands 4.03 so that is the cost for 9.3 right and 9.4 the potential versus time graph for this generator is given below redraw this graph in the answer book and label it as a on the same set of axis draw the graph of one rotation of the coil when the speed of the rotation is doubled so doubling the speed of rotation halves the period so it takes four seconds for us to have one cycle so when you double the speed of the rotation it will therefore take two seconds so we should have something like that right initially at the original speed it takes four seconds to complete one cycle when we double the period is going to actually take not double the period but to double the speed of rotation we are going to half the period of which it will now take uh two two seconds 9.5 state one way in which this generator can be changed to dc uh, can be changed to a dc generator right so it's a question of ac dc what are we looking at we're looking at slip rings right here so when we change ac when we change ac to dc we're changing the slip rings to a split ring which looks something like that so we can change uh, the slip rings to a split ring right that is 9.5 9.2 what is the polarity of the magnet at z is it positive or is it north or is it south let me know in the comment section all